state police, as you uh, as you well read off, right. or not read off, but from, from, from your memory, right. uh, takes the information from me. So if you're arrested in Alsip, Illinois, if you're arrested in Barrington, if you're arrested in um, downstate, your fingerprints are taken. They're sent directly to the state police, and they're still going to be forwarded on regardless of the sign-on or sign-off, opting out of secure community. We're in agreement with that. Um, so the, the, the ICE officials are still going to get this information. Well, but can we be clear on something? And could what, about, what, what, what about the question about the whole thing? Because the county that puts the whole thing. You, you mentioned San Francisco, and I, I wrote all the time. Right. That's going to be looked at immediately. Okay. And that, that, that call will be made. Sit here 
and be lied to but like this. There's no I'm local official that has to control that. If I, if I, you, I, I no, no. We really try to be very... I, I, and I listen no, no. politely. Yeah, we, we if, try to be very polite. No, no, but, but if I listen but that's, poli You're not going to sit here and lie to me. Well, sir, I would be not calling someone a liar if unless... I, I think that's an unfortunate trait. You may disagree with our practice, and I and I respect your disagreement, but I'm trying to clarify some misinformation. The misinformation includes that we fingerprint. We do not fingerprint. We have a policy not to think. Well, no, it was stated earlier that we fingerprint. We have no policy to fingerprint. That's part one. So that was one of the concessions we were asked to convey to the sheriff, and obviously we will convey all of this to the sheriff, but we do not fingerprint. And secondly, we do not generate at the jail arrest warrants. That's my point. We do not generate detainers. We do not initiate. We know that. Well, we know but, but well, we do not initiate those legal documents. Now, and you're taking a very unfortunate position. Well, we're going to convey this all to the sheriff, and if there's further. Concessions we can make, we would be. No, no, no. We don't need sheriff. concessions. Well, we don't need. Co it's it's not about conceding. It's about doing what is right. It's about. No, it's not about conceding. Let me tell you a little bit of history. Three years ago, when we started this, the Cook County used to call immigration every 48 hours because of a misunderstanding of the immigration hall, and that Tom Dart declared. Tom Dart told us. Tom Dart told us uh, in front of uh, County Commissioner Maldonado. That I uh, that I was called from Cook County every 48 hours because that's the way they had understood the immigration hall, okay? And they stopped doing it. it that's right. They stopped doing it. But then they wouldn't accept bonds. They wouldn't accept bonds because oh no, you have an immigration hall, so we cannot accept your bond. So we went back to the meetings and the negotiations, and then Mr. Dart said, oh well. Accepting bonds is not my problem. That's Dorothy Brown. And Dorothy Brown said, oh, well, yeah, because there's an immigration hall, so we don't accept the bond. So next meeting, oh, well, yeah, we can accept the bond, but still the Department of Corrections is going to hold the people, you know, even accepting the criminal bond. And that, you know, one year ago, two years ago, three years ago. And now we are hearing again another remix and remake of the same policy. Cook County, either office, you know, is acting in such a way that people who cross a, rock, a red light end up deported. We want to stop that because it's not warranted. One out of every three cases we take to the immigration courts, the judges tell us, you're right, this person doesn't have to be deported. You know, it's, it's absurd to deport this person. So why this person is detained, retained, whatever term you want to use, for 48 hours or 72 hours because the holidays don't count and, and the weekends don't count and blah, 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 and so on. You know, it, it's just absurd. Cook County Jail is the gate to deportation. That's clear, and we want that stopped. Hard case criminals, no doubt, yeah, deported. Although I'm told that in the border, nobody picks them up. You know, they just uh, are put in Mexico and that's it. That detainer that you're talking about, because that we should challenge mm -hmm. that. Uh, because if, if they cannot cite us as that detainer, then we can or how it gets put on there. Because if they're going through just like, you know, surnames and other people that right. are clearly not being cited as being held, and, and we're finding and out I that put the put the the I, I see even put, I see even put, I see even put holes on citizens, and on U.S. citizens, and, and you know that. And that's, yeah. A, yeah. and that's a mistake that's made when local police departments send the information through leads to the federal government. That is not something that is initiated in any way, it's shape, or form. It's initiated in the tunnel. It is, it, no, it it's is not initiated. Not initiated. initiated. It's initiated. It's initiated. That is not, that's not our practice. That is not our practice. In addition to it, 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 that's just not our practice. You, you, you are mistaken when you say that. It is not our practice. You Mr. know, that immigration Asking, agents go around the tunnel the talking to people the without mere indicting or anything. The here earlier said that he was in the jail for county 
issues. Not it was only at the end of his stay at the jail. No, that no, 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 and what the local law enforcement that are doing is Which wrong. wrong, and anything that we're and the only one that doesn't do anything wrong is Cook no, County. No, no, that's okay. wrong. No, we, that's not. That's not what I said. What I said yeah. is when mistakes are made, we will discipline our employees because it's not our but policy. This is systematic. How no, can it, it is not mistake. It's, it's Sir, you'd have, to, you'd have to present to the sheriff. Two hundred fifty people a week you, are taken by eyes from Cook County Jail. That's not a mistake. That's systematic. That's a procedure. Otherwise, we would have one case. Are, are, you suggesting, are you suggesting for one second that when an arrest warrant is issued, that we should disregard it? No. Okay. No, well, but that's, the, the that's, that's, well, but that's what you're suggesting warrant. to us. Is the that immigration we hall, the, no, the, the immigration hall of retaining is not an arrest warrant. Uh, then it is not. Then because what it says is court. the person is in is being investigated. That's what this says. A it doesn't say arrest this person and hold him there because this, this person is a criminal. A and I'm telling you, they have issued immigration calls against U.S. And citizens. That should, and that should be taken to federal court. And the detainer should be challenged as not we will being take it to the commensurate we will take with it to the an arrest we warrant. We're, we're not disagreeing with you. No, I agree we've done everything we can. I agree that we're not disagreeing about that, but I think that every aspect of the local government needs to challenge what is going wrong. You know that, like we've been saying across the board, that 250 people per week or whatever, they're being turned over and they're being profiled, you know something's going on, you need to challenge that which can't be challenged. And right now there's a really difference between a warrant and some kind of detainer that immigration is just arbitrarily saying everybody who has a Gomez or a Garcia or looks looks like you know mm. have put a detention on them. Challenge that and say what and what 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 law did they break? Why is this being held? Why, why are we doing this? Why are we participating in this madness, this racism that's basically totally out of control? Cook County needs to put their foot down. The governor of Illinois put his foot down. The governor of um, in San Francisco, they're putting their foot down. Cook County needs to do the same thing. Why are we not focusing on local police departments? In other words, we are before we get to, before somebody even gets to the jail, the way to present it, we're doing all of that, and we don't County point fingers. Authority. That's what my kids do when I say, who left the dishes? Well, Tanya did it. Well, Yo-Yo did it. Well, you know, just wash the damn dishes. It's you know what I'm saying? No, we need, we no, need everybody dark. just to do what they're supposed to do in order for these kids to go home with their families. Everybody needs to be on the same page. Instead of making excuses and pointing fingers at someone else, Take your responsibility. Make the challenge. We're not making excuses. And that's why we are here. And I'm definitely not pointing fingers. I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah but we can, can do that. We are doing that. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. We're, at. we're, at. we're working with the see, Chicago see, police, see, with the aldermen, the, 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 the mayor. The message is very clear. You have a, a law that is incorrect, morally. Morally incorrect. And we uh, we can discuss the law. I am not an attorney to discuss the law with you. I but I am coming with a point that is very clear. That the Cook County has to change the procedures because it's dividing children from their fathers and dividing families and this is God's work and then we're gonna fight it until the end.